Then you had the ones that if they worked at McDonald's but and they took Tupac orders, they don't mean they know Tupac. Mm. Or you was doing security or wherever, that don't mean you know the man. All these people have been uh, benefiting and capitalizing on trying to put the man down or lie on him or tell some stories that they weren't there or they know anything about. Because I don't think none of these people are psychic. And I'm not, you know what happened to the last psychic big bitch, she ended up, whoever her name was, the fake with the fake Boston boys, you know what happened to her, it all went bad. So I don't, I don't like to speculate. So I just tell the truth how it is. Now, yeah. from, from your perspective, though, you, you actually spend time with Diddy. When he used to go to New York, you guys, would, you would spend time with him, and he would spend time with you when he would come. You guys would go hang out together with, obviously, other peers. Did you notice anything around Diddy where you said, this is a little bit, you know, obviously, there's a woman, you're having a good time, you're partying, you're doing your thing, but did you ever see anything where it was out of line where you said, I think this guy likes men, or I think he likes certain things that's a little weird? Well, well all due respect to Puffy, you got to realize one thing. He didn't start off like that. I'm quite sure somebody taught him that, and that's more Got deep it. in the industry. You guys who got involved with a lot of people who they mentors, instead of having a guy to mentor your own father, they was having these guys they mentor. And when that happens in the industry, they, it was done to them, they do to the next person. So I felt that Puffy was a regular, normal guy. And then when he started hanging with the guys in the industry, they did things to him, and then allegedly, he did things to Usher, 